Whew, good little blast. Uh, it was 36 minutes in total, that was. It was a nice little blast. So it was 60 carousel bike, 1K ski, 60 carousel bike, 1K row, two rounds through, then finished with 30 carousel bike, 50 ball loads. I think I ended up doing 60, just to make sure I definitely got them in. But a little bit of a 50% intensity session. The Achilles, last night my perineal tendon still sore off when I rolled it with Laura, so no running. Um, probably forces me to taper a little bit anyway, just backing off things, but salt bike's a good little substitute for running. Kills you, kills your quads off. Um, but that's a morning session, got clients now. And we'll catch you for a PM strength session. I've still got no voice left, but that'll be the last real, real bit of intensity. Just people in for round two, just warming up the legs, getting the air, flushing out a little bit of stiffness from this morning and just trying to warm up from, from PT in the morning. Uh, but the plan is normally uh, Mondays is a upper body, um, what do you call it? Upper body, what's it called? Man? There we go, upper body dynamic effort, lower body max effort session with some sled push work to finish. Uh, however, I want to make sure my legs are really fresh for the back end of the week. So I'm just gonna to do today as a full lower body session. Mixing in some of the uh, kind of velocity plyometric work in with my strength stuff. Been following uh, Ryan Gibney's, and Gibney, that's how you say his last name, Conjugate Strength Course coach on Instagram. Um, based in Chester, I think. It's Michael Sandbatch's coach anyway, so I was fortunate enough to win one of his competitions. I was debating work with him anyway, so he is, and I'm following his High Rock Strong Strength Programme just to help me with the sleds because my sled push have been it's been disappointing for being a big lad um, so following his plan so just slightly scaling things the main thing today is one rep max and um, box squats on the peaking phase at the minute uh, we'll do a little bit of everything else but we're going to drop the volume down so for example we normally do three sets on like the zercher and um, split squats we'll probably just do two sled pushes we'll see what the old achilles is like after rolling it Rolling the ankle at the weekend. Yeah, get these legs warm. I think I put in which we are, said Paul. Wow, I'm gooshed. A good amount of intensity, only seven ish minutes worth, but. Oh, right, time for some box breathing. Four seconds in, four seconds pause, four seconds out until I feel relaxed. Eat, then back to work. Why we're alive, hope you can hear me, it was uh, my music's blasting in the background. But, I woke up from a nap. Mr. Paul Willis is in the building. He's he's not deloading. He doesn't know what a deload is. This guy running like 500k last month and now he's just, what is he, box squatting? He's, he's box squatting at least, he's listening to me in box squatting. He's doing doubles on air Sunday, so we're, we're racing against each other. But, little um, easy 45 minute zone to you bike. I was gonna add some running, but the ankle's still feeling a bit funny. But they were a bit mobility. I'm gonna quickly make sure that the class is set up for tonight and then uh, crack on. Bit of, a, bit of a boring day. Do you want some camera time, mate? I know you're not. He loves, he loves them, man. Look at this. So we're racing against this guy on Sunday. What do you make your time? What did you get in the sim? We did a high rock sim two weeks ago. What was it? 66 minutes. 66 minutes, and that was our sim day, which is, I'll probably say, about the same as a proper high rock sim. We had two minutes on, so. 
Last time. We're not going to be giving them elbows at the start line. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you get your box squats done, mate. Still got no voice. This is just not sorting itself out. But yeah, 45 minutes on this thing. Let's get it in. <laughs> Here we go. I managed to actually do some running. I went against the plan. I want to quickly get set up for the class for 5:30 group in. Big up the body session, and we'll catch us tomorrow morning. Oh, you just want to be in the bloody video, don't you? That's why you're jumping on. Go on, get away, you stunning bad books. Right, we're on. Oh, there we are. It's Wednesday. This will be the last run out. We've got Logan in the background warming up, and we've got Lola who's going to join in. You're going to join in the warm up, aren't you? We've got 4x1k, it's meant to be at race pace but it'll probably end up being faster than race pace but just enough to open the legs up, we'll do a little bit of a 3 minute active recovery in between either on the bike or the rower, just zone 2 pace and nothing too crazy, probably like a 2, two minute kilometre pace on the um, bike or the row. Uh, 4 rounds of that, with a 1k warm up, we'll probably do a 1k cool down and me and Logan might have a, a baby bro jump race just for the laugh at the end but it's freezing cold we we'll had a good morning, two groups for the Hyrox classes on Wednesday. And yeah, Lola, you're gonna get your, your little paws going, but you're not gonna have a poo on this run. She always poos within the first five minutes of a run, so my warm up's probably gonna be, a, like a, it's gonna be like an eight minute kilometer because of her. <laughs> little one, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Come on, Logan, son. Let's go. There we go, easy way. Big Logan try to. Uh, one that I'll do is on these last runs. That's it, it's the apprentice trying to impress the master. Trying to sprint off. So by taking it easy today. Taking it easy. Right, I'm gonna take it all off for a little cool down run. Oh, me. Cool down, John. Let's pick up your poo. Right, uh, it's all the work done. We ended up doing uh, four lots of 1k with two minutes zone two. Um, bike in row in between. So, I'm like two, two or two pace on the bike, and then like a 158 on the row. Got the heart rate back in the blue. But yeah. Work's pretty much done now. Refuel, rest up. Uh, and I'll catch you over the next few days, but nothing much is really happening now. So bye guys. Hello. Adios. Back again. Bye. We'll do some bodybuilding. Well, some sort of bodybuilding. Got some uh, explosive upper body work to start off with, which is part of my program. And the rest of the stuff, we're just gonna do some upper body stuff. Nothing crazy. Lola's gonna run around in the background with a giraffe in her mouth. <laughs> Lola's gonna do some pull-ups. And look at this new toy. I'm oh, at Mr. Willis again. Look what we've literally just came in today. New assault runner. How was it, mate? Hasn't fell apart yet. Still working. Good. Yeah, well, me and Logan just built that before, but some setup now for High Rocks. Full 12 and a half meter sled track. All the kettlebells. Wall ball targets. We've got everything. Skis, rows. Best place in the northeast to do High Rocks training now. And you even get a ginger cockapoo within the gym. Come on then. This is my warm up. Right, I need to smash this out in 45 minutes anyway. Got it. No, no. I said. Oh. I said I've got it. What did you hear? To be fair, I know it didn't look like shit. It looked like a shit. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> These lads might take to them, Put an extra kilo on.
You've seen my camera. Right, finish that up. Just a very, very quick little body blast. Um, ended up just adding 12 reps on the on that little E-mon at the end. Nothing crazy, don't need to make myself sore. I've got a few of the best way champions do. Coronation chicken sandwiches from a service station. Stanton's finest. Um, training done. Nothing less to do now. The next two days will probably just be a bit of mobility and stuff. Tomorrow, it's Thursday. Friday, we're obviously travelling down. I'll work in the morning. Stretch mobility. If I feel like I want to do a little bit of a loosen, I will do it at the night time. Apart from that, it's just carb load and stuff. But I will film bits and bobs. Um, in this video and then we'll start the Glasgow actual High Rocks vlog in the next video. Hello! I haven't actually vlogged um, the last day. Um, I tried to film yesterday's, what I did yesterday, yesterday was Thursday, today's Friday. Saturday is obviously the, the first race. Um, I did do 20 minutes of ability. The first one minute of me form run, my quads filmed and my camera cut off and died. So nothing really much happened yesterday. Just 20 minutes of form run mobility, um, no training. Today I'm probably not going to train either just because I want to I wanna feel really fresh and I don't really feel like I need a, much of a shake up. But I am going to do some stretching and mobility. But it's in the morning, I'm about to go and leave for work. All I've had so far, because this today is the, the important carb loading day, is a big fat scoop of Builder Hydro, just some electrolytes. Um, I'll probably not eat until it'll be half past eight, nine o'clock when I'll have my first meal, which will be some overnight oats. Obviously carb loading is important. Um, for high rocks, I'll probably just say well, at least one day out, you want to be in for at least seven grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight. So for me, it's a lot of carbs, um, but I always eat a lot of carbs anyway. So it's just a normal day of eating for me really, because I'm not training. I'm gonna naturally carb load myself anyway, because I'm not training. So if I eat the normal amount of food that I do, It'll be fine, but we'll be having plenty of bagels, plenty of saurine, and a big team Nando's later on, which I haven't decided if I'm going to have in this vlog or the Glasgow vlog and the Glasgow High Rocks vlog. So, um, yeah, nothing really too crazy to add. I forgot to film my first meal, but it was just me overnight oats. Um, about 900 calories down the hatch. I was too hungry, right? We go for a quick walk, let it digest, and then we're back to work. Oh, right, it's been a couple hours. Obviously, I ate my breakfast before I actually showed it to you. Uh, but just got back home, it's now five past one. We've got second meal of the day. We have quite a lot of carbs, we have a bagel, two little saurine loaves, some Greek yogurt and a kiwi, basmati rice, tuna, Cucumber, probably about 900 to 1,000 calories, getting some more carbs in. Nothing too crazy, I need to quickly get ready because I need to go and um, pick the team vests up that all of my clients and myself are going to be wearing for the races. And then also meet my dad. Big Waz is back in the vlog. I love a party. Living the dream um, before we head back to Glasgow. I'm starving, I'll probably talk later on about carb loading and what to do before racing stuff and tapering and that, but I'm just going to eat and get myself ready because I need to, need to get up to Glasgow. There he is. Oh, here we go. He's in Vlogging the vlog. already. Do you want to get some practice in? With the vlog? With the vlog, what do you want to say? You're going to be the cameraman for the weekend. I can be the cameraman for the weekend. I'm good at that, like. There you go. What, what, what we're doing, we're living the dream. We're living the dream, all right. Living the dream. All right. All right, turn the, turn, turn the kit transferred over because I've got a lot of... I thought, I know. I've got a lot of bags, like, there's a lot of bags. But we've got the team vests in. You remember how to do this? Aye. Uh, sort of. We've got the, uh, the zoom new logo in, with the athlete on and then uh. the old process definition series of actions or steps in order to achieve a particular end goal. There you go. Teams will be repping, repping them. We've had about 50 swear words from the from the sat nav. From the from the sat nav, this sat do I like this sat nav? Fucking It's not very really Scottish. Nav. Right, we're here. Good. I ate a grenade bar. Grenade uh, no real grenade bar. A chocolate squares bar. Thanks Joel, though from your little pile. Extra carbs and protein. Right, let's get checked in. Right, that's for checked into the hotel with a nice moody, moody lighting. 
Time to get some stretching mobility done. Bit of form rolling, loosen the legs off. I've also brought my massage gun, which I actually forgot that I had. Um, I think it's horrendous in here. Forgot that I had that, but in terms of preparations, I'm probably gonna end the video here and start the Glasgow vlog next. Um, the rest of the preparations at the minute is just gonna be carb loading, like I said before, um, getting at least that seven grams per kilogram of body weight. So for me, um, it's probably just under 700 grams of carbs. But I'll probably end up pushing a little bit over that because I'm a little fatty and I love food. So definitely gonna be hitting up a big Nando's or something later on. Um, I think I'm on about four or 500 grams of carbs already from today's food. Um, trying to keep the fats as low as possible just because they're going to slow the rate of absorption down. Fats up to a certain point aren't really a necessity for high intensity exercise like uh, like high rocks because when you start your heart rate gets above that sort of even that at like 150 BP, uh, beats per minute that's when you start utilize, really utilizing carbs as your energy source um, so just make sure you have enough of that in but again yeah all the work's done now I just need to rest up recover I'm not really a massive person who does like shakeout runs and stuff um, I decided to rest and I've been on my feet a lot this morning already. Uh, Going to be walking over to the event. And apparently there's two hour queues because Tom, um, one of the lads who's from the gym is already queuing up. It's a two hour queue so I'm going to be on my feet enough so that will be enough for me. Just stretch, mobilise. I'll be on my feet a lot tomorrow washing clients before my race. Which is an ideal prep but as a coach it's your job. Um, supporting your clients that worked with you for a year, six months, some of them even longer. Um, so it's the least that I can do is be there for them, support them, encourage them. Um, so yeah, that's it's my job at the end of the day. And I've got Nice, which is my, my main priority and my recovery and everything will be just decent uh, for that. Minus my wedding, which is two weeks out beforehand. Apart from that, it'll be fine. Um, but preparation is done. Like I said, I'll do some mobility, my usual mobility routine, which I'll actually stick on here because I haven't really put it on, I don't think. I haven't tagged it um, before, but my usual mobility routine stays the same. Loosen the quads off. Hopefully I don't cramp tomorrow like my Manchester race, but looking for a bit of redemption. Um, my recovery and preparation has been a little bit better. Obviously, I had a few bumps along the way, as you've seen from one of my previous videos, but it's part of the process in terms of um, being a gym owner now. Hours are a lot more intense, a lot longer. Um, I've done 13 days no caffeine, so I've took two weeks off caffeine and be 14 days tomorrow. So that should hopefully help. Um, got to hydrate, probably get another scoop of uh, another scoop of builder in me. I've got all my supplements and everything in here, so obviously I've been uh, supplemented with magnesium. Additionally, I'll probably have this is my caffeine source before the race, an ABE shot, uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine, three uh, grams of beta adenine, citrulline, malate, taurine. That should hit pretty well. Um, Tomorrow, my food choices will just be pretty light, pretty simple. Lots of carbs, minimal fats, minimal, well, average protein. Hydrate again and then try not to drink too much closer to the weight race so I don't wear my pants, which is obviously isn't ideal. The only thing I'm worried about taking two weeks off caffeine is if I do have caffeine, is it going to go right through me? It's my biggest worry at the minute. Um, yeah, this has just been a little bit of a how my taper week has been looking. Nothing too crazy. Drop that volume down to 50% of what it usually is. Intensity still stays exactly the same. We've had a little bit of a niggle with the ankle after chasing the dog around Simon Side Hills when she got off the lead and started chasing some sheep. So it's been interesting, yeah, just keeping it real. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to the weekend. Really looking forward. Big weekend, double header. Uh, we should get some good content because we've got Brandon filming my race on Saturday and then the big man, Warren, my dad, filming everything else. Yeah, let's me waffle him. We'll see you in the next video, which will be Harrods Glasgow 2024. Really excited for it. Lots of members of the team uh, representing, and yeah, just buzzing for it. Right, I'm going to stretch, get some food, and I'll see you next time.